So as mentioned, currently I have two nodes, the cloud node and the edge node. When looking into the cloud node, we're going to have a Kubernetes cluster, which means we'll be able to operate with kubectl commands. So currently, if I do a kubectl get nodes command, I'll be able to see that currently I have a master node, which has been, I have a cluster with just one master node. So that's going to be the default. However, you as well see that I have an edge demo v2 node, which is our agent at the edge. So this is pretty much our node that we would like to deploy our application towards. On the bottom half of the terminal, you will see that I am connected to the edge node. So here we don't have any Kubernetes components installed, we just have Docker. So if I do, do a Docker ps command, currently I'll be able to see a bunch of um, containers that are managed, but nothing related to our application. So it, everything is related to load balancing at the moment in traffic. Once we deploy our application, we'll be able to see new containers here being, being managed on the edge side. And as mentioned, I've already installed Argo CD, and we'll be able to visualize the UI of Argo CD. Currently, we have no applications installed, but this is going to change quite soon. Before I actually transition towards the um, deployment of an application, let's look into the actual application CRD that I'm going to deploy. So this is very similar to the configuration that we've had in the slides. There is an application CRD with the name Nginx Edge. We deploy it in terms of the destination. We're going to deploy it on the local cluster. And then again, we point to the um, folder with our manifest, which is going to be pretty much the manifest repository. And we can even go to this particular repository. And we can investigate what exactly we have here. In this particular case, my aim is to deploy an Nginx application with one replica. And currently, the image that we're going to refer to is going to be Nginx Alpine. So a very simple deployment, we just want to propagate it towards the edge. So the first thing we're going to do is do a kubectl apply, and I'm going to stop. And then I'm going to refer to the app.yaml, which will contain the application CRD. Once I deploy this, we can go back to the Argo CD UI, and we'll be able to see that we have an Nginx Edge application, and it is automatically being reconciled straight away since we have that policy set. So we can see that we've created a deployment. With it, of course, we're going to have a replica set and a pod up and running. And we can verify this straight away by doing a kubectl get pods. And we can see that we have an Nginx pod, which has been started 22 seconds ago. If we get a wider output of this command, we'll be able to see that this particular application has been placed on the edge node straight away. And we can validate that by going into our edge node and doing a docker ps. And we'll be able to see that we have our nginx being managed as docker containers on the edge. And this is pretty much how we'll be able to propagate applications towards the edge using the GitOps pattern. As well as a very short demo to kind of showcase the power of GitOps, I would like to change the image of our application. So for example, you've created new features and you'd like to update your application on the edge. We can do that simply with Kubernetes by just updating the image version. So instead of Alpine, I'm going to use an Nginx 1.19. I am going to commit this particular change. Okay. We have a very meaningful message. And we're we'll just going to push it straight away to the main branch. Now, once we go to our Argo CD view, it will actually look for the repository. If we hit refresh, it will straight away identify that we're out of sync. We can see the commit here. So if you click on it, we'll be able to see that our change was to modify the version of our image. And we can see that a new pod has been created already with the second version. And the pod with the old configuration is pretty much terminated as we speak. So if we go back to our node, components. So if we look into the cloud, we'll be able to see that we have um, we have a new pod, which has been spun up 26 seconds ago. And again, if you look on the edge, we'll be able to see our Nginx component, but the version of it is going to be different. And this is how you pretty much hands off will be able to propagate any changes to the edge by using the power of GitOps.